This is a set of E-Type front seats, fully trimmed for a couple of different models. So the parchment cream ones at either side are Series 3, so that's applicable to the open two-seater Roadster and the 2 Plus 2s. And then the tan ones in the middle are the Series 1 4.2s. They are pretty much the same in terms of the look and overall finish, but they do use different frameworks foams and other hardware which i will try and go over in this video as well and they have slightly different finishes to one another as i will explain um just to start the parchment ones the series three ones have been done in full leather which is not original specifications normally they are leather faced where there's a mixture of leather and vinyl and sometimes moquette as you'll see on the tan ones uh the customer has requested full leather to go with his full leather trim kit as part of our js bespoke range the Series 3s, as you can see, also feature the embossed pleated uh, panels there, which was applicable to most Series 2s and Series 3 models, whereas the 4.2 Series 1s, they are plain, as you can see here. It's also worth noting that we're using two different leather finishes here as well. So the parchment is the grained finish here, whereas the tan is what we refer to as a smooth finish here. So depending on the color, we can offer both styles in most colors, but see our website for more details. So the overall look and finish, as you can see, is the same. The Series 3 has had headrest normally as well, as you can see here, whereas Series 1 did not. Series 2 sometimes did, sometimes did not. Um, the trimming process is extremely similar, but the hardware does differ slightly. You can see on these tan ones here, they had moquette on the back. Moquette is like a thin carpet-like material, a uh, very um, narrow pile on it. And it was often used by Jaguar during its uh, XK tenure and then the early E-types before normally switching to a vinyl leather cloth on the back here, which would be applicable on the Series 3 had we not done it in full leather at the customer request. Um, the process of trimming is very similar, as mentioned. The cushions are probably the tricky parts in terms of getting this section here looking neat. Uh, it recesses down into a foam there and so getting these areas here to look neat and tidy without too many creases and crinkles is the main task. Um, what you normally do is anchor that down in place and then work out from there but see our handbook area for a bit more help and advice on that section there. It's also worth noting, obviously on the frames, they did change slightly the Series 3s reclined back and also tilted forward slightly, whereas the Series 1s did not recline back at all. They only tilted forward, as you can see there. So just to show you a bit of the hardware as well. Now, bear in mind, as mentioned, the hardware does change between these cars, but the overall look and feel is pretty much the same. So. I've got a mixture of the different hardwares here to try and help. So looking at the cushions first, the bit your bum goes on, the bases, as it were. Like I say, this is the main area here, which is the same here, as you can see. This foam here, they are handed. The cutaways for the inside of the car where the gearbox is. This is actually a Series 3. So this is that parchment set there the series one and two 4.2s were slightly different very similar though uh, so you can see this deep recess here in there now obviously the pleated panel is sewn onto a foam so it does bring it up a bit more there but it's all about anchoring it here and moving it around see the back of the foam it has got the recess holes cut in the back to imitate the original dunlop style so that's the foams get a pair of those as a set. Uh, below the foams, as you can see on the back of this parchment one here is what we call the diaphragms, which act effectively as a spring. The Series 3s were slightly different. So these are the diaphragms here. These are actually the Series 1 and Series 2. So that's on these tan seats here. You can see the shapes different, but the overall principle is the same. They come with the hooks on the outside. And when they're in place, they want to be tight as a drum, as you can see there. Now underneath there, you can see the molded foam, which is obviously this one here. On the 4.2 version, Series 1 and Series 2, you also had what we call these wooden cushion corner tacking strips. You get a pair of them per car set, and they go on the outside edge. Try and get to it. So 
they are for tacking underneath there, as you can see on the outside edge as it goes around the corner. So we sell those as well. And that is effectively the work involved in the uh, hardware elements of the cushion, the bit your bum goes on. Moving on to the backrests, what you have, can't really see any, any of it because it's all hidden away, but you have behind here, and obviously behind a pleated panel, is the rubberized horsehair, which adds as a padding effectively. Now, this is the 4.2 version, so this is for the tan seats. The 5.3 Series 3s are different, but extremely similar again. Basically, the main difference being the 4.2s had this kind of house element to it, whereas the 5.3s did not, because that was incorporated into the seat frame. If I tap this here, there's a piece of molded plastic behind there, uh, which incorporates that section there. It's all related to their sort of headrest and keeping the sturdiness at that top area there. So obviously you'll need a pair of those. Then you need the webbing kits, which are effectively the diaphragms, but for the backrest. So behind here, you get a bit of spring. You can kind of feel it there. Obviously you can't see anything, but I promise you it's there. Um, on the 4.2s, they were these rings here. Uh, they're all joined together by hooks. We do not supply the hooks. You need to reuse your old ones or use something like hog rings if your old ones are a bit knackered. But they're all joined together, then put to the frame and, and act as a spring effectively. For the 5.3s, they changed the style to um, one that was already joined together that's then attached to the frame. Moving a bit further down to this sort of area here, you had the lumbar straps. So it's just basically lower back lumbar support, add a bit more springiness to it. So there again, rubber straps with the clips included. Further down there and the main um, point that allows you to actually trim the backrest, as you can see here, you've got all these staples going along. Same again, just there is the wooden tacking strips. Now, again, there are three different versions. You've got the Series 1 tilt forward only. You've got the Series 1, Series 2 tilt and recline versions. Then you have the Series 3 versions. That's just an example. I mean, they, again, to look at, they're pretty much the same. So you get a pair of those. I've only got one of those out at the moment. We're still just in the process of sanding them down. Uh, and they get attached to the frame. And then you tack along. Now, obviously we've got the use of staple guns, which makes life a lot easier. So we staple ours in there. Originally they would have been tack, so you can just get tack and hammer and do it the old fashioned way. But that's the main way that they are attached to the framework there. So that's essentially all of the hardware for the actual seats themselves. The headrest, fairly straightforward. You had the headrest sort of bracket as it were. Then you had the molded foam and the cover. And then we also supply these cover plates here, which go along the bottom and basically tidy up the bottom edge there. Uh, if you like, we can actually trim those in a material for you as well, so it all matches them, but originally they were black. So that is the set of seats, basically, before the 5.3 Series 3s, and then the Series 1 4.2s, which are extremely similar to the Series 2 um, 4.2 models as well. As you can see, very nicely done all the way around. Moquette on the Series 1s, also tied in with the retainer there, so that when you put that back, it all ties in together like that and yeah see our handbook for more help and advice on how to retrim these or just let us do the hard work